Imagine stumbling upon a planet so bizarre, so utterly out of place, that it defies the very models scientists have relied on for decades. That planet is NGTS 4b, the so-called forbidden planet. And it doesn't just break the rules. It shatters them. To understand why this is such a big deal, let's take a trip back to 2018. A team of astronomers using the Next Generation Transit Survey, NGTS, a powerful array of telescopes in the Chilean desert, was scanning the skies. Their mission? Detect planets outside our solar system by monitoring how starlight dims when a planet crosses in front of its star. It's like watching a tiny moth pass in front of a stadium floodlight, subtle, but measurable. That's when they found something. Strange. The data showed a Neptune-sized planet orbiting its star at an extremely close distance. We're talking so close that one full orbit takes just 1.3 Earth days. That's less than 32 hours. Imagine an entire year flying by in less than two days. But this wasn't some tiny rock like Mercury, this was a gas-rich world, roughly 20 times heavier than Earth. So what's the problem? The issue is that NGTS 4b orbits inside the Neptunian desert, a region around stars where gas planets of this size aren't supposed to survive. Why? Because the intense radiation from the star at that distance would typically strip away a planet's atmosphere over time, leaving behind a scorched, rocky core. Yet, NGTS 4b still has an atmosphere. It's hot, puffy, and intact. According to our models, this planet shouldn't exist. Let's dive into the science. The Neptunian desert isn't a literal desert, it's a term used to describe the lack of Neptune-sized planets in short orbits. Astronomers have discovered plenty of hot Jupiters, large gas giants that can survive close to their stars because their gravity is strong enough to hold onto their atmospheres. But smaller gas planets, like Neptune or Uranus, typically can't withstand such intense heat. They get fried. Blasted by stellar radiation. Their hydrogen and helium envelopes evaporate over time, a process called photoevaporation. But NGTS 4b? It's the planetary equivalent of someone walking through fire, and not even breaking a sweat. Its atmosphere is still very much there. And that has scientists puzzled. How could a planet exist in a region where it's not supposed to survive? What's NGTS 4b's secret? There are a few theories. One idea is that NGTS 4b formed farther away from its star, where temperatures were cooler and radiation was weaker. Over time, gravitational interactions, either with other planets or with the leftover gas disk from its formation, could have caused it to migrate inward. If this happened recently on a cosmic timescale, it might not have had enough time to lose its atmosphere. Another theory is that NGTS 4b's atmosphere is unusually dense, perhaps more compact, or chemically resistant to radiation. Maybe its internal gravity is stronger than we thought. Or maybe it has a powerful magnetic field, which shields it from its star's deadly radiation, like Earth's magnetosphere does for us. There's also the possibility that we're catching this planet in a transitional phase. Perhaps it's currently losing its atmosphere, slowly, but surely, and we've just discovered it during this brief window of time when it's still hanging on. A planetary snapshot, frozen in a moment of cosmic change. Let's zoom in further. NGTS 4b is classified as a hot Neptune, meaning it's similar in size and mass to our own Neptune, but far hotter due to its close proximity to its star. Its surface temperature is estimated to be around 1000 degrees Celsius, that's over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot enough to melt many metals. At that temperature, molecules behave in weird ways. Hydrogen escapes easily, heavier elements break down, and atmospheric chemistry becomes a swirling chaos of exotic reactions. And remember, NGTS 4b completes one orbit in 1.3 days. That means it's likely tidally locked, one side always faces the star, while the other is in permanent darkness. That could create violent winds, extreme temperature gradients, and bizarre weather patterns we can only theorize about. Now, let's talk about its parent star, NGTS 4. It's a K-type main sequence star, slightly smaller and cooler than our Sun. That might sound reassuring, but for NGTS 4b, it doesn't matter. Its orbit is so close that even a dimmer star blasts it with relentless heat and radiation. This proximity makes it an ideal candidate for studying stellar planetary interactions, how stars strip or shape planets around them. But here's the part that really blows astronomers' minds, how do we even detect this planet? Remember, NGTS 4b causes only a 0.2% dip in the brightness of its star when it transits. That's tiny. Incredibly tiny. Ground-based telescopes had rarely, if ever, picked up such subtle dips for a planet this small. This discovery is a technological milestone, proving that we can now detect smaller, shorter period planets from Earth's surface with high precision. 
but NGTS 4B isn't just a technical success, it's a scientific game changer. Because if one planet can survive in the Neptunian desert, maybe others can too. Perhaps we've been missing them because they're hard to detect, maybe there's a whole hidden population of forbidden planets, quietly defying the rules, orbiting close to their stars, their atmospheres just barely hanging on. And this has broader implications. It means our understanding of planetary formation, migration, and atmospheric loss needs to evolve. We thought we had the picture mostly complete, but NGTS 4B reveals major holes in the puzzle. It reminds us that the universe is full of exceptions, and those exceptions are often where the most exciting discoveries happen. Let's consider a few related planets. WASP-12b, for example, is a planet being consumed by its star. It's also in a tight orbit, and its outer layers are literally being pulled off like cotton candy. 55 Concrete E may be made almost entirely of diamond, due to its high carbon content and internal pressures. HD 189733b, a terrifying world where it rains glass, sideways, in 7,000 km per hour winds. Or Kepler 16b, a real-life Tatooine orbiting two suns. But NGTS 4b is different. It doesn't stand out because of what it does, but because of where it is. It's not just weird, it's wrong, according to the textbooks. It's an outlaw planet. A rebel that refuses to play by the rules of planetary science. And that makes it incredibly valuable. By studying NGTS 4b, scientists can refine their models. We can better understand how planets form atmospheres, how they migrate, and how they die. We can build better simulations, better telescopes, and better missions. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find more of these forbidden planets. Or even stranger ones. So, what comes next? Astronomers will be watching NGTS 4b closely. Future telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope could analyze its atmosphere in detail, checking for chemical signatures, temperature gradients, and signs of atmospheric loss. We might even detect a tail, a trail of gas being blown away, like a comet. That would confirm it's evaporating right now. And as our technology improves, we'll uncover more exoplanets like this, and stranger. Every time we find one, we get closer to answering the big questions. How rare is Earth? What are the limits of planetary survival? And what kinds of worlds are out there, hiding in plain sight? So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember, hidden among the stars are planets that defy logic, challenge science, and remind us that the universe doesn't care about our expectations. NGTS 4b is one of them. A planet that shouldn't exist. But does. And if it's out there, who knows what else is. If you enjoyed diving into the strange world of NGTS 4b, make sure to hit that subscribe button, it helps a ton. Got a weird space topic you want us to explore next? Drop it in the comments below. The universe is full of mysteries. Let's uncover them together.